As we continue Breast Cancer Awareness Month, J. Leah Burns takes us to the clinic and shares one survivor's story. She joins us in our studio with more tonight. Jade. Yes, yeah, Sean and Jen, one woman's life completely changed in September of 2020. Now she reminds people to look for the good and be thankful every day. Said the words that oh, I'll never forget. He told me that I had breast cancer. And, um, whew. It was, it was very hard. A routine checkup ends up saving Jennifer Post life, making her a four-year survivor of stage 1A breast cancer. Post was diagnosed after her first screening and expresses the importance of events like Mammo Marathon. UPMC Hammett holds this event yearly to help women find breast cancer early when it's easier to treat. With the um, advent of widespread screening mammography, which began in the 1980s, um, the risk of uh, dying from breast cancer fell 40 percent. The recommendation to begin screenings is age 40 and to continue them every year if you're of average risk. If you're higher risk, which can be determined by self-evaluation, Dr. Kaminsky says they could start scanning with MRI at 25. Whether it's a new lump or bump, any skin changes, dimpling of the skin, redness of the skin, any change in the nipple, um, to bring that to the attention of your primary care Doctor. While it may seem intimidating, healthcare professionals say the first step is scheduling a screening and they can walk you through the process from there. If an abnormality is found on that, um, we do something that's called a callback. So the patient gets a letter, their physician uh, is informed as well, and we give the patient a phone call and let them know that you know we saw something that could potentially be uh, suspicious. Dr. Kaminsky guided Post through her treatments. She explains there's nothing like the support that she received from both the imaging center and her loved ones. If if you're ever diagnosed with breast cancer, it's not a death sentence. It's not a death and I'm here to prove it. I have so many pink sisters that I'm so thankful for. Dr. Kaminsky also says that if you've never had a screening before, it's never too late to start. Jen. All right, Jade Leah Burns in the studio. Thank you, Jade.